Hey everyone, welcome back to the Red Cat University. Today's video is for the Gen 8 Scout 2 Axe Edition owners. We have three free mods that you could do to your rig. Actually, the first two mods can be done to the Gen 8 ready to run as well, but the third one is specific to the Axe. All right, let's get right into these free mods. So our first mod up is to soften the tire foam. Now, some drivers prefer the firm feel of the foam that's already in there. However, many drivers like a softer foam inside of their tire. Now to soften up that foam, all we're gonna do is take it out of the tire and boil it in hot water. So you're going to have to remove the wheel with your seven millimeter box wrench, and then using a 1.5 millimeter hex driver, you're going to remove all the screws that hold the B-lock rings to the wheel. Once the rings are off, remove the tire from the wheel and slip the insert out. Once you removed your inserts, you could simply dip them into boiling water. Make sure to use extreme caution when doing so. Dip the insert into boiling water for about a minute, remove it and let it cool down. Once it's cooled down, use a towel to dry the insert. Then you could reinstall your inserts into your tires. Our second free mod is to tuck the bumpers. And simply what we're going to do here is loosen the two screws that secure the bumper, both front and rear, and push them farther in. And then of course, reinstall the two screws. What this is going to do is it will help improve the approach angle and descent angle of the rig. Start by removing the two bumper screws, remove the bumper, and cut off the post beyond the last hole. Slide the bumper all the way back into the mount so you can see the two holes and reinstall your screws. Repeat the process for the rear. However, you don't need to cut off the end of the post. Slide in the bumper to the desired position. Line up the nearest hole and reinstall the screws. Once you've tucked the bumpers, you may have to trim the body for clearance. Our third free mod is for early axe owners. The first and second runs of the axe come with the Hobbywing speed controller program from the Hobbywing factory at six volts for the BEC voltage. As you know, the reef servo will handle up to 7.4 volts. So in order to get the maximum performance out of the reef servo, you could use the Hobbywing app to reprogram the speed controller for maximum voltage. Start by downloading the Hobbywing app and pair it with your ESC. Once you've done so, go into the parameters mode Tap crawler and scroll down to BEC voltage. Here you could select 7.4 volts, save, hit OK, and now your servo will be operating at 7.4 volts. Redcat is working with Hobbywing, so future Axe kits come programmed at 7.4 volts for the servo. All right, that wraps up our three free mods. We hope this helped you out and lead some more fun with your Red Cat Racing Gen 8 Axe Scout 2. If you have any questions or comments, please put it in the section below. While you're there, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell, and we'll see you back soon for more Red Cat Racing how-to videos.